Hello everyone! Today I will show you two ways of removing an object from a clip in the color tab in DaVinci Resolve 17. This is our before and after. I hope you will like it. Let's start! I am in the editing tab and I have already dropped my clips onto the timeline. This is how they look. I got them from Artgrid. I will leave you a link to the website below. So now let's just move to the color tab and we will start from the first clip. We will be removing this ladybug with a very simple technique. So we will start from creating a mask on top of the object we want to remove. And in order to do this, we'll go to the power windows and we'll pick round power window. We will place it over the ladybug and then we'll go to the tracker and we'll track the movement of the shot. I will enable interactive mode and I will track it forwards. Okay, this will do. And now we have to move our mask next to the object. So I'll go back to my power windows and I'll move my power window here. Okay, then I'll go to sizing. I will change it from input sizing to node sizing. And then with my pan and tilt controllers, I will move the mask over the ladybug like this. And let's play it. Looks good, but we can always refine our mask. So let's go back to the power window and let's soften it a bit more. Okay, and let's make it bigger. And let's play it. I think it looks good. And this is before and after. And as you see, it's a very, very simple technique, but it can work only when you have a portion of the clip that you can copy to cover the unwanted object. So let's move to the second technique. I will click on my second clip. This is how it looks. There's also not a lot of movement in here. And we will be removing this horse on the right. And again, first we have to mask our object and we could use the power window again. But this time I will use the magic mask tool. And if you are interested in the magic mask, go to my other tutorial where I am explaining with details how it works. I will leave you a link to this tutorial below. But now let's just grab our qualifier and let's draw over the object. Okay, let's turn on the highlight to see the selection. All right, maybe a bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. And let's track it. Okay, and now we'll create another serial node by hitting option S and we will connect the alpha output, which is indicated by this blue color, with the second node. So the mask will appear here. And then we'll go to the open effects and we will search for the object removal. We'll drop it onto our node. And here, first we have to analyze the clip because it's moving. But before I do it, I can click show the mask overlay here and it will show us our mask. So it's basically the same mask that we did with our magic mask tool. And we can also click show scene mask overlay. And here we can choose how big portion of the object surrounding we want to analyze. And I would say that we should keep it actually quite close to the object for better results. So I'll make it smaller. And now we can start our scene analysis. And we will have to wait a bit. It can slow down your computer quite a lot, so be patient. And now we have to choose our clean plate source. I normally don't change it because I get the best results with the internal one. So I'll leave it as it is. And then I just have to hit build clean plate. 
And now to be able to see the result, I just have to untick show scene mask overlay. And I'll also untick the mask overlay down here. And this is our result before and after. And that's it really. But keep in mind that these simple techniques can't really replace a heavy VFX work. So they can only work for quite simple cases where they can actually do a very good job. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. See you soon.